Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 10.4 motion in two dimensions. 10.4 represents chapter 10, section 4 of the Pearson A level maths applied maths year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. F equal MA. This is Newton's second law represented in vector form. F is your force vector, M is your mass, which is a scalar, it's not a vector. A is your acceleration vector. A vector A is parallel to the vector B if A is equal lambda lots of B. Lambda is a scalar. These are the key facts of 10.4 motion in two dimensions. I'll be implementing these key facts within two exam style questions. Here is exam style question one. A particle is acted upon by two forces F1 and F2, given by F1 is equal to minus 4i plus 7j newtons, and F2 is equal to 2ai minus aj newtons, where a is a positive constant. The resultant of F1 and F2 is r, Given that r is parallel to 3i plus j, find the value of a. Let's have a look at the solution to exam style question 1. Firstly, the resultant force r is equal to f1 plus f2. This implies that r is equal f1, which has a column vector, is minus 4 and 7, plus f2, which has a column vector, is 2a and minus a. This, in turn, implies that the resultant force R is equal to minus 4 plus 2A, that's the I component, 7 minus A, that is the J component. In the question, we are told that R is parallel to 3I plus J. So we're going to use the definition of parallel vectors. This implies that R has to equal lambda lots of the vector 3i plus j. So lambda lots of 3 and 1. So the resultant r, which is minus 4 plus 2a and 7 minus a, has to equal lambda lots of this vector. So I can multiply 3 and 1 by lambda. That gives me 3 lambda as the i component and lambda as the j component. Since these two vectors are equal, I can compare the i components and the j components. So this i component, minus 4 plus 2a, has to equal this i component, which is 3 lambda, equation 1. This j component, 7 minus a, has to equal this j component, which is lambda, second equation. So I've got two equations I can now solve simultaneously in order to work out a. Right, now I can substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So substitute 2 into 1. I get minus 4 plus 2a is equal 3 lots of 7 minus a. Now I can expand this bracket. So I get 21 minus 3a. So if I rearrange, I get 5a is equal 25. Therefore, a is equal 25 divided by 5, which is 5. That there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. A particle of mass 4 kg starts from rest and is acted upon by a force R of 6i plus aj newtons. R acts on a bearing of 45 degrees. Part A, find the value of A. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. I'm going to start by drawing the force R, which is... 6i plus aj newtons. Here is my coordinate grid. The horizontal axis represents i, which is x, and the vertical axis represents j, which is y. So I've got 6i, that's 6 units to the right, 6i, then we've got plus aj. Now a is a positive constant, I'll explain this in more detail shortly. So aj is a units going up, a, j. So this is my force R. We have a bearing of 45 degrees going to the force R. So from this north line here, this vertical line, we have a bearing of 45 degrees going to the force R. Now because of that bearing 45 degrees, we have that a has to be a positive constant. Okay, we know that this entire angle is 90 degrees. Since this is 45, this angle over here has to be 45 degrees. Okay, so now I'm going to redraw the triangle. Uh, 
uh, the length of aj is just a, and the length of 6i is 6. Now, to work out a, I can use Sokatoa. Right, so over here we have tan 45 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. So a over 6. So to work out a, we simply do 6 tan 45 degrees. Therefore, we get that a is equal to 6. Because tan 45 degrees is 1, and 6 times 1 is 6. This completes part A of exam style question 2. Let's move on to part B. Calculate the magnitude of the force R. So the force R is equal to 6i plus 6j. To work out the magnitude of the force R, we simply do square root 6 squared plus 6 squared. Okay, so the magnitude of the force R is equal to 6 square root 2 newtons. Moving on to part C. Work out the magnitude of the acceleration of the particle. Now using Newton's second law, we have that F is equal ma. So the force F in this scenario is the force R. So the force R has to equal the mass of the particle, which is 4, lots of the acceleration. So to work out the acceleration, we simply do a quarter of the force R. So a quarter of the force 6 and 6 is the acceleration. So the acceleration vector, ladies and gents, will be 6 times a quarter, that's 3 over 2, that's the I component, 6 times a quarter, 3 over 2, that is the J component. Now to work out the magnitude of the acceleration vector, I can do square root 3 over 2 squared plus 3 over 2 squared. Okay, so the magnitude of the acceleration vector is equal to 3 square root 2 over 2 meters per second per second. That there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video 10.4 motion in two dimensions. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.